<clears throat> hey everybody how's it going i have not done a live video in forever moderation helps everyone yeah i don't have a moderator i don't think i'm gonna need a moderator so i just came onto my youtube channel after a while oh my wheels are getting stuck here um and the last video it showed that i downloaded was like in 2017 i'm like where are all my videos well now they have it separated so there's like edited videos and then there's your live videos so if you want to go see my live videos which is most of my ebay um goodwill hauls and poshmark and all that good stuff um you have to click on live now to see all my live videos so that's a little interesting um at least i didn't lose them all i was like oh my god did he did youtube just do away with all of them anyways <clears throat> this lovely dress back here is a isaac mizrahi for target wrap dress and i usually don't get isaac mizrahi for target because it's for target and it's not very good reselling but um it just seems like i always sell wrap dresses so there she is those two big poofy things over here are um square dance skirts and i i didn't know where they're on my um hampers that are full of jackets and coats and i just didn't even know where to put them because they're just so poofy and frou-frou that that's where they ended up um so i went to the goodwill bins last friday today is the 15th 15th of december don't remember what day that was like the ninth or something anyways um i got like 36 pounds spent like 48 dollars or something like that it's a dollar 29 a pound at my goodwill bins and that is only if you get over 25 pounds in your cart if it's under 25 pounds i want to say it's a dollar or no 219 a pound so um i always get over 25 pounds so that's just what i do it takes me anywhere from an hour and a half to three hours usually um today or yesterday i had a little i took my son to an appointment so i had a little time and i went to the it's called retail thrift store and it is tales being t-a-l-e-s because it's the humane society thrift store and so there i got a few things this is a bowden limited edition which i've never seen bowden limited edition and um here's the tag if you can see that and then it's got this cool detail like this squiggly detail it reminds me of um quilling a little bit and it's linen the um outer is linen on this and i just thought it was so cool it was 7.99 and so i looked it up the comps and it looks like i can get 30 or 40 dollars so that was totally worth the pickup on that so i got that um i don't want to just lay this down anymore i guess i'll throw it up here on the poofies there we go up on the poofies okay and then i was looking in the purses and there was this lady being kind of loud and obnoxious, which um, I just kind of steer clear from people like that. And then she was like, I don't know how anybody that's poor can even shop here because the prices are so outrageous. And I'm just thinking, oh, is this going to be my first confrontation with somebody going, you know, are you reselling? How dare you take from the poor? Which I just, I have been thrifting my whole life. I've been thrifting poor, I've been thrifting rich, I've been thrifting everywhere in between, I've bought for myself, I've resold, I come from a reselling background, I was raised with garage sales and thrift stores, we even had an antique secondhand store when I was a little kid, um, my mom managed an antique mall, I've always been garage sailing and thrifting, it doesn't bother me, it's what all retail stores do. They buy low and sell high. It is what our society in America does. If that bothers you, then click on this. If you see that little symbol there, I was like, that looks like a really nice bag. Like, and I love, for some reason, I just love lemons. I just kind of gravitate. This is Patricia Nash. This bag was probably like $400. 
brand new, three or four hundred dollars. Um, I've only seen her stuff at Macy's, but I don't go to a lot of high-end um, department stores other than cruising through Macy's around Christmas time. Anyhow, um, so I was just like, oh, that looks like a cool bag. I looked at it, saw the symbol. I'm like, pretty sure that's Patricia Nash. Looked inside, sure enough, but it was priced up a little. It was $20. I usually don't spend that much. Oh my God, get out of here. How do I block this person? Black. Remove. You seriously are private? Yeah. Remove. Oh, you're so annoying. You're seriously just going to keep on doing that? Gravity Goods. I'm listening, but can't watch as I'm driving. Okay, well, listen up, Gravity Goods. I think your name is Cameron, if I am correct. I've got this super duper annoying person trying to put their... Probably porn stuff on my... Put user in timeout. Yeah, I guess I can just put them in timeout. For 300 seconds? That's stupid. How do I get rid of this person? How do I get rid? Do I just report them? Um, harassment pornography report okay hopefully they get blocked or deleted okay so anyways i got this cool patricia nash purse um there this style there's only a couple of them on um poshmark and ebay and brand new, they're going on there for like anywhere from 150 to 200 dollars. So I think I'm gonna go high and ask 100 for this and see what happens. So basically, I like to go three times what I paid for something. So if I get 60 for this, I'll still be winning. So yeah, totally cool, Patricia Nash. This is definitely not my Patricia Nash style. I really want a Patricia Nash purse, but I really like the tooled leather with the like turquoise um antique look to it that's my patricia nash purse so i got that and then also on that trip to retails i got these all birds they're kind of a um rusty orange color these are wool slip-on shoes i got these for 5.99 i should get like maybe 30 or 40 bucks for those and then I got, I don't know how to pronounce this, you guys. You guys, all you people watching me. Mom the e-bear, the dumpster diving queen. You can hide them from the channel once the live is over. Okay. Well, I reported them because it was porn. It was like, see, fun girls or something. <laughs> so I reported them. Hopefully they just get deleted. Alukai, is that how you pronounce that? Anyways, they usually, I usually see flip flops, but these are like these little canvas slip ons, um, kind of like driving loafers without the little heel protection. So um, I knew that name, so I grabbed these. The bottoms are just in perfect condition. Um, looks like they might have been worn once. They have a little bit of stuff in between the little texture on the bottom but anyways i should get i don't know maybe 30 for these and these were 4.99 um how that store works is if it's not marked it's 4.99 otherwise it's whatever the price is um so then the rest of this stuff is stuff that i got on the last um goodwill bins haul that i did so like i said i go to the vancouver 
um, Goodwill outlet. We call it the bins or the weigh and pay. Um, it, if you haven't been to one, they can be kind of wild. Ours is pretty well managed and we don't have a lot of rude people. Um, a few months back, I did have somebody stick their hand in my purse and I know I shouldn't be taking my purse there. And at that time I had a big tote open topped purse and this guy walked by and, um, I felt my purse kind of pull and I'm pretty sure he put his hand in my purse. And so I just watched him and he didn't have anything and I wasn't missing anything. And I have not seen those people back there. I don't go a lot, but, um, people like that get ousted and they, they keep people like that out. Um, they don't, allow people to be rude and nasty. I've heard people um, complain about their bins that they are literally push, physically pushed out of the way and stuff. Uh, that just doesn't happen at my bins. I do not go for the new bins that come out. Um, I've thought about maybe doing it, but I just hate that competition. And I um, find so much good stuff in the bins that have already been picked over because we're all looking for different things. That's one thing I've learned, like that whole fear of missing out FOMO thing. We're all looking for different things. There's people coming through and they're just looking for kids clothes for their kids. There's one guy that comes through that's from Africa and he's just looking for backpacks because he sends them back home to Africa. So all the kids have backpacks. Um, there's definitely resellers there looking for the same sort of thing that I'm looking for, but they just like the, especially like the, the younger guys that are looking for t-shirts, they just go through and just scoop up stuff and dump it over. I literally am going through a pile in one of the big bins and I look at every single tag, every single tag. So this is what I got by doing that. So number one, I'm going to show you this. It's cool. It's super cool. It's not worth much, but, um, the reason that I, it means something to me, I'm still going to sell it even though it means something to me, is because I, as a child, um, I had some extra toes and some messed up feet, and I had to go to Shriners Hospital. So this is called a Fez hat, and it's what the Shriners wear, and this one's from a yacht club, and it is encrusted with, with crystals, and then it's got this cool... Um, thing that holds the tassel on the side. So I found this in the bin. I was like, cool, a Shriners hat. And I grabbed it, gently put it upside down in my cart so I so it wouldn't get smashed. And then I was looking, like, I just kept looking. About 10 minutes later, I found the case to it. So it's got this guy's business cards in it, so I know what his name is. I'm kind of assuming maybe he passed away and whoever was in charge of his things was just like, I don't want this dumb thing. And they took it to Goodwill. So it's got the case. And um, I looked it up. These are going anywhere from $15 to $200, depending on what they are. I'm going to probably ask around $75 for this one with the case and with all the crystals and all the information I have on it and see what I get. I can always go down. So, <clears throat> thank you for liking my video. So, that's what I got. Um, those were the things that I got at, at the, um, not the hat, those four things. The blazer, the two pairs of shoes, and the, and the Patricia Nash. So, this is what I got at the bins. So, now I have to be careful because I have some of this listed and some of it not listed. So, these are the few things that I have listed this one, actually, I didn't get at the bins. It's an all-over print Rugrats shirt. This was my son's. I actually got this for him at the bins, and he wore it several times and was done with it and um, put it in the Goodwill pile, and I grabbed it to sell it because Rugrats are awesome. And then I got this Anokai. It's a, I just thought it was really interesting. Um, I don't even remember what I have it listed for. I think I have it listed for about 15 or 20 it's a corduroy. I don't know if you can see the corduroy. It's kind of showing up brown in the video, but it's kind of a burgundy maroon color. And then there's like gold threads on the trim. It's kind of a tunic kind of top. And then this is a Victoria's Secret Victoria Sport bra. 
Um, so it's got the zip front and then it's got, you know, inside it's got the underwires and the padding and everything. And this one's just in perfect condition. Um, if I pick up bras, they have to be, they have to look like they're never worn. They just have to be in perfect condition. And then this is a sack roots purse. Um, so it's like a coated, uh, coated canvas. <laughs> there it is. And so Sack Roots is a pretty good little brand. Don't get a ton, but I think I'm asking maybe 30 or 40 for this. So that's kind of cool. So those are the things that I have listed so far. Um, and then I will go through a bag of what I am in the process of listing. Basically what I do when I get my stuff home is I hang up everything that I'm going to either put on my mannequin, like the dress behind me, or that I'm going to just hang on hangers and put on my, I have like a white draped wall. Um, anyways, so I usually do all my hang or mannequin stuff in one big lot of photographing. And then I'll list all that. And then I'll go back and photograph all my flat lays. And so this, these are all the things that I have photographed and are ready. So this is just cool. Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles. It's got the thing down the side. This was just a fun find. Um, it's American Road Trip is the brand. That, that meant nothing. I just got it because it was cool with the chicken and waffles. And then this is a Thrasher. Thrasher is a skateboard magazine. And so this is a cool, This I've never seen a Thrasher one like this. It's like a, a sketch drawing of somebody on a skateboard. So I got that. I'm not really going to say what I'm going to ask for most of this stuff. I usually just, what I do is I, I, I list on Poshmark first and Poshmark suggested price is, a, I stay around that um, price. And then I cross list on Mercari, add a few bucks for free shipping. Cause I do all my shipping on Mercari. I'm doing that all in pirate ship now. And then I cross list on the eBay. The only bummer about cross listing on eBay I use Flip, the reselling tools on Flip, and it's free. And they have a free Poshmark share too. So if you don't want to pay for a um, cross-listing or sharing service, you can go to flip.com and sign up and load their all their stuff for their reselling stuff. Anyways, um, and the only bummer about cross-listing from Poshmark over to eBay is all those fields don't get filled in and I've actually haven't been filling them. I haven't been going back and filling them in and it's working like I'm selling on eBay with all of, without all of the, um, extras filled in. So, and I, Poshmark's my main platform anyways, right now. Anyways, this is a Koi kind of got like a, Asian lotus print on it, a koi like medical scrub top, a polo Ralph Lauren red, white, and blue stars and stripes camo. This thing got so much going for it and so much not going for it. However, you want to look at it. Um, it's a hoodie and it's it's polo Ralph Lauren. I would not have picked this up with any other, with, you know, like a lesser brand. If that was like Old Navy, I would have left it. But it was Ralph, Ralph Lauren. Um, this is, I need to, I still haven't looked this one up. Nardi Tiglia Furry, made in Italy. When something's made in Italy, I usually get it. This is 35% um, wool, rayon, nylon, and cashmere made in Italy and it's just this beautiful um like half poncho sweater thing so here's the here's the head hole and then it's just straight down on this side and then it's kind of got this little kind of shoulder thing on this side so it's kind of interesting but um again made in Italy it's got wool and cashmere just grabbing it at the bins like Here's One World, which is just kind of a hippie boho brand. And this is just a little sheer um, shawl poncho thing. So great for vacations or whatever. 
And then this one, I need to look up the RN number if you if you aren't very familiar with selling clothes. Um, most clothes have they have their regular tag that's in the back of the neck, right back here. Um, this one's been cut or torn out or something. It's gone. There isn't one there. So in shirts and dresses, if you look inside the liner on the seam, see there's a tag there. So this tag says that this is silk blend. Oh, no, it's 100% silk. The lining is polyester, but it has an RN number. So I can look up that RN number. There's an RN number, um, like garment search, and it'll tell me what brand this is. I haven't done it yet, but this was just such a cool, and I felt it, and I could feel that it was silk. I don't wear gloves at the bins because I want to feel the fabric. It's got this exposed metal zipper. Sometimes metal zippers mean um, vintage, but this is not vintage. This is just meant to look like that. So I need to look that up. I'm not sure what it is. Could be Old Navy. It could be, you know... St. John, I don't know. Um, Urban Romantics, I just got this more for the style. It's got the little knotted front, the cute little brass buttons, kind of a billowy little blouse with the, the wide kind of, I guess you'd call those bell sleeves maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens with that one. Um, this is just another cute little blouse. This one is Paper and Crane, which is kind of a, I think that's a mall brand. And it's got this elastic, this elastic waist and the little ruffle sleeves. So cute. I'm kind of starting to look towards spring and florals and that sort of thing. Because everybody that's bought their winter stuff has bought their winter stuff. This is a new without tags, Wu-Tang. It's like the Wu-Tang symbol. Um, so I just grab t-shirts when they look interesting. <clears throat> I have a friend that makes the... She does the bleach outs on the flannels and then she puts like a panel on the back of it and it's usually like a band t-shirt or something. I just went through my t-shirts and I sent her a box, like a medium flat rate with like probably six or eight t-shirts in it. So she could do that. This is an actual Isaac Mizrahi, but this is their his children's. So this is just like this sparkly ballerina um children's shirt and it's got the little lace on the bottom just cute this is isaac mizrahi i used to watch him on qvc i just always thought he was so awesome um this is beach lunch lounge i'm not sure if that's a anthropology brand or not but it's super cute thanks for everybody that's watching i so appreciate you guys so this is just like a little denim almost like a peplum um pinafore kind of little top when i first looked at this i thought it was a little girl's dress but then when i realized oh it's beach lunch lounge and it's a medium so that's definitely a women's top <clears throat> sometimes i'm fooled by things like that this was a little lesson for me um i had been going through a bin and it had probably three or four pairs of um scrub pants and they were this Barco One brand. And I was like, I don't really feel like looking those up. And I've got enough scrubs right now in my inventory. And then I found, <coughs> excuse me, I found this shirt, this sleeveless scrub shirt. And I was like, I'm not, I don't think I've seen too many sleeveless scrub shirts. Like, so I looked it up. This is like, 30 or 40 dollars and but they were already taking that line of bins away so i knew that those those pants were gone so that's a little lesson if you look at something and you haven't seen that brand before and it looks like a pretty good pretty good quality <clears throat> if nothing else put it in your cart and look it up later maybe when it's not so crowded around you i don't like looking stuff up when there's people around and it's not so much because I'm worried that people are going to know I'm a reseller. I don't really care about that. I just don't want to be in anybody's way. So I usually, I'll put stuff in my cart, in the big cart part, <laughs> the big cart part, wow, um, that I'm for sure going to buy. But if I have stuff like that that I want to look up, I put it over my purse in the little front area. Oh, and also about my purse, when I go to the bins, I all the, the carts there 
have the little clip-ins for the kids, you know, the little seat belts to clip your toddler in the little seat there. I clip my purse in there and then I, I, my purse now zips shut, which is fine. And I immediately start putting stuff on top of my purse because people would have to like literally come over to my, come over to my cart and start piling stuff off. <laughs> it, would, it would be very obvious to me. And I'm, I almost always have one hand on my cart. That's just how I thrift. Anyways, <clears throat> so all the stuff that I pile on top of my purse are things that I'm not sure I want to get or I need to look up. This is going to be a long video, you guys. Okay, next thing, pink. Pink Victoria's Secret, little knotted front tie-dye blouse, little scoop neck, super cute. Um, this is segments, 100% merino wool. It's like a base layer piece. It's this pink shirt, long sleeve. I have not looked up this brand. I don't know if it's super great, but it was merino wool and was in great shape, so I grabbed it. Um, this is Japna. Japna, yeah. I've sold a few of these things. Pretty sure it's a mall brand. This is just a little elastic backed little ruffle sleeve, ruffle hem, cute little blouse. This is Petra Fashions. Back when I was, so, little fun fact about me. Back before my kids were born, so we're looking at my um, oldest just turned 25. Um, I sold adult items at home parties. The company was pure romance. Then I found my own supplier because that's how I am. I'm just an entrepreneur at heart. So I was like, I can make better profit on this. I will find my own supplier. I found my own supplier and made up my own price list and did my own parties and ordered from this company and bought and made a way better profit. My best party ever, I was pregnant with her and it was an $1,800 party. And out of that $1,800, I probably made close to a thousand of it. So that was cool. But anyways, um, when I was toying around with the lingerie, I found this company called Petra fashions and I've picked up their stuff before. This is just a little like night tank top thing, plus size. Um, and they've done well before because I think they have a little following. So that's my, my story. I always got to throw in all my stories. Um, life, life is for eternity. Um, this is a new with tags, uh, almost like a shacket. It's got like a, uh, wow, wow, a belt, like a drawstring belt, long sleeve shirt with the V neck and the big coconut buttons. Pretty cool. I got it because it was new with tags. It was a brand that I'd never seen before. So we'll see. Might be $100, might be $15. This is a Nike, the Nike T. And this is a snowmobile collab thing. I don't know what this little, this is like a little embroidered patch right here. It kind of looks like a Coke can, but it says Nike. It's just a really interesting little shirt. It's a size large. So I'm pretty sure this is a youth size, but interesting i have to look it up this is a adidas portland trailblazer i live in vancouver washington we're right across the river from portland oregon so just went to the moda center that's where they play um but i went there to watch kevin hart which was very fun i went there back in what was it in september maybe and watched uh, Bill Burr, which was pretty good too. Um, this is Shein, which is the fash, the the fast fashion, the fast fashion brand. And this is just these funky overalls with like the grommets and the clips. And then this is a faux pocket, and it's got these interesting little belt things. And it's got the jogger, the elastic on the. So I just got that more for the style of it because it was just kind of funky and cool. And um, I know it'll probably sell even though it's Shein. And then I got this, this kind of stuff I love to pick up. So this is like a little cape 
it's like I want to say it's like a theatrical piece for like a play or something and it's got this cool little like ruffle around the top and a tie um I put this on my mannequin but it's got like jet beading all over it so I'm not sure what it is like I said I when I when I lift it i'll look it up and see what it's worth that's when i do my research is one of those things i am so those are all the things that i need to list that i have photographed and then this other stuff is all my flat lay and small items that i will do on separately so this is just a little brighton there's the name brighton makes purses and jewelry and um belts like accessories and this is like a little box that something would have come in. It says jewelry design in California, package made in China exclusively for Brighton. I've got several of these little tins. I'm going to find them because they're somewhere <laughs> in my stash. And I need to just like list them as a lot, which will be fun. Like that. And then there's a pair of Westport. Um, I got these. I didn't get these for the brand. Westport, I don't believe, is that great of a brand. I'm not sure where it's sold. Um, but they are size 20. They're ankle length. Signature fit 20 ankle. But I got them because look at these cuffs. They have a rolled up cuff with flowers embroidered all over them. So cute. So somebody would love to have these for spring. I just know it. <laughs> Okay, and then th these jeans were cut from the cloth, which is a pretty good brand. It's kind of losing its luster a little bit. Um, some of these are worth a lot, but I don't think this one is. This one's the Natalie Petite High Rise Boot Cut. So just some jeans cut from the cloth. Cut is with a K on those. And then these kind of look vintage, but I'm pretty sure they're new. Oh, yeah, these are totally new. These are like a Western brand. I just found a um, newest tag sleeveless Western shirt that's a snap-up. It has a bunch of fun detailing on it. These are Cheyenne. Here's the, this is like a Western brand. So just these jeans, Cheyenne jeans. I just got them because I knew that tag from the other thing I got which is something that you'll do when you're reselling. You just slowly learn all these brands. Um, this is Morona, which I think is either a Walmart or Target brand. So I didn't get it for the brand, but look at this bulldog on here. It's a sweater. It's like a, a lightweight knit sweater, but it's got this bulldog with the little cap on his head. So cool. Um, one of my really good friends has bulldogs and I thought, oh, that'd be great for her. But this thing is an XX l um and she is not that big so this would be way too big for her but i just thought that was so cool so that's one thing i do is like dogs everybody i should say almost everybody loves dogs <laughs> so um and then i got this shirt just because it was interesting it's kolaa it's a surf company and it's this sleeveless, let me show that, there it is, it's this sleeveless, it's kind of got like this high neck kind of situation, like a crew neck, but with the sleeves completely cut off, but they're not cut off, it was made like that, but anyways, from Kauahu, Hawaii, so just a fun little surf shirt, and then these are pants <laughs> j jill newest tag these were 89 dollars when somebody bought them brand new they're just these wide leg floral print kind of a paper bag look on the top with a built-in sash these are victoria's secret silk blend they're like a um, so this is like a sheer fabric with the velvet laser cut over top and these are silk blend. So Victoria's Secrets kind of losing its luster as far as reselling, 
<clears throat> I honestly blame that song on you guys. That song, um, it's on the radio, and it basically talks about how Victoria's Secret was made up by a man. And I just have to say, Victoria's Secret makes the best bras. I mean, probably not the best bras. There's probably some more expensive ones out there. But since I've been reselling for the last 20 years, I've been wearing Victoria's Secret bras that I find at the thrift store. Again, I only find stuff that either looks or is brand new. And it works. Okay. These are Levi Curvy Boot Cut jeans. Got them because they were Levi's. Not all Levi's sell good, but some of them do. I'm not sure if those ones do or not. Um, and then this is All in Motion, which I think is a Target brand, but it's one of those like seamless bras. There's like no, no like seams to show. And I would say that's a sports bra. So, and then I found these cute little sweater slippers. I'm going to call them sweater slippers because I don't think you can sell used. Oh, they're all tangled up. Anyways, they've got Mickey and then they've got Mickey and they're just little sweater slippers. Might keep them for myself. I haven't decided yet. They're still in the resale bag to get photographed. So, this is all flat lace stuff and then I have another bag of flat lace stuff. So this is, consists of like three Ikea bags full of stuff that I got for like $48 at the bins. And like I will sell one thing out of here that will pay for the whole thing. So the rest of it is profit. Um, got this Adidas swim suit. Little hint about swimsuits if you're new. Always check the crotch. Make sure there's no weird stains because you don't want that and you don't want to clean that so and if somebody gets that with the weird stains and you didn't look to make sure that it didn't have it you're gonna have a return on your hand no matter what nobody wants a swimsuit with weird stains this is taylor grace i actually bought it for me but then i didn't like the way it fit so i'm gonna sell it taylor grace isn't a great brand i'll probably get 10 or 12 bucks out of that. Boundless North, I think is what this is. Yeah, that is what it is. It's extra large. It's a wool blend, like fuzzy sweater. When I got it, it had a big stain on the front of it. I put a little pre-wash OxyClean on it and it washed right out. And then I laid it flat. It's got like these cool embroidered flowers and is that a flower i guess um on the sleeves oh i guess maybe yeah i guess that's a flower interesting anyways i looked this up this one's going for like 30 so that's cool i just got it because it's this big cozy this one this sad sad little teddy bear i just got him because i felt like you know the whole velveteen rabbit thing I just had to save him from whatever his fate was going to be. He's been smashed. His little nose is just all smashed to his face. I've been kind of trying to rework it, but it keeps snapping back. Anyways, he's got a music box that's been overwound. You can see all his missing fur right there. So I'm just going to list him for like maybe five or ten bucks. This might, the thing with, with, Flush like this that's super vintage. This is probably like 70s, 60s, 70s, maybe 80s. Um, is that, oh, this bastard. He's bastard. He's back, you guys. If anybody's still watching besides his stupid ass. I'm up. Remove. Remove. How do I block him? Does anybody want to moderate for me and 
Okay, let's go. I Okay, anyways, somebody might have had him when they were a kid, and this brings back memories, or maybe their dad gave it to them, and their dad's no longer here, or something like that, so that's really cool. So, he will be sold. I found these Crocs. Still trying to decide if I'm going to keep them, because my Mickey Mouse Crocs that I got in 2007 are finally wearing out. I usually just wear these around the house and out to the mailbox. Um, but they're just really good for like, you know, most of my inventory is out in my garage and it's freezing cold out there in the winter time. So these are nice to wear on my feet when I go out there to collect my items that need to be shipped. So, um, and they're, you know, still got pretty good tread. I might keep them. They're size seven through nine, like seven women's nine and men's, um, no, seven and men's nine and women's. So a little bit big for me, but. Um, this is Vans, the skate brand. It says Rawr. This one was another one that had a stain on it, and I got it out. So that's one thing about the bins is you can risk stuff like that because it's only going to cost you a couple bucks. And I actually got this from my husband, but he was like, I don't think it's going to fit. And I think he just doesn't want to wear the baby marbles. But um, these are all the baby marble characters. So cute. T-shirt. This. These jeans are English Laundry, the Sutton Slim Straight. Whatever. I've been watching these people that are flipping nothing but jeans, so I was really looking for jeans, which is kind of funny. Fried Denim, just this pair of maroon, like, burn burnout wash jeans. Um, what we got here? Oh, I got these. These are Playboy jeans. So there they have the Playboy and the Playboy tag. And they're just kind of these almost acid wash looking jeans. I don't know if these are vintage or not. I kind of don't think that they are. Well, they've got a tag here that might show me. Oh, you guys. My dogs have to bark at everything. Yeah, I don't think, I don't, they could be vintage, I'll have to look them up, but they were, like, definitely distressed. I saw, it's so funny, I saw a post, and I reposted it in the past, but I saw it again, and I just thought it was so funny. It was these girls, and they were all, um, you know, like, going to the mall, and they had the jeans on like that that are all torn up, and it's like, it said something like, they all survived the tiger attack, so they went to get ice cream, and they were all eating ice cream sandwiches. It was funny. Anyways, this is Skylanders. I have no idea what he is, but it seems like I've sold something similar to him before, so I grabbed him at the bins. He probably weighs five or six ounces, so, like, I'm spending pennies, cents on him, and he will make me some money, even if he only makes me five bucks. That's that's like 25 cents into five bucks. That's that's a pretty good return. Um, these are Tom's camo wedge shoes, lace ups. Very cool. There's the Tom's. I sold these. I actually have a pair of Tom's wedge black suede shoes right now. And I bought those because I had had another pair of black suede Tom's wedge shoes and they sold like that. But no, I get a second pair, and they've been sitting for months, so. I go through my inventory slowly. Like, I just went through some t-shirts, and then maybe next week I'll go through some long sleeve shirts. So I just go through and get rid of stuff that either got delisted or deleted by me, and I forgot to pull it or whatever. And then I just kind of relist everything and kind of reevaluate. So um, these are floral check. Vans have like roses on them. Super cute. Got these at the bins, you guys. Look at the bottoms. They're like 
brand, well, they're not brand new because, you know, they've got some wear to them, but somebody took good care of these. And, you know, they've got a little dirt around them and stuff, but, and I don't like to clean up shoes, so I usually don't. But I just thought those were so cool. And then these are Blowfish Malibu. I didn't get them for the brand because I don't think Blowfish, I think that's maybe a Target brand. These are red gingham size 11 men's shoes. I'm pretty sure they're men's. I have to do some measuring, but they're huge. But red gingham shoes, I mean. Yeah. And then these little numbers are super cute. They're like these little heeled cowboy western looking boot booty things. And what is the brand? Come on, Shelly. This is the last thing I have to show you, and of course, I can't find the... Okay, they're called Carlos. Seems like I've sold Carlos boots before, but these are like women's heeled, stitched, laser cut, studded, you name it. These puppies got it, and those were the bins too. So, um, that's it. I just want to thank everybody for watching, and um, see you soon, I hope. Bye.